Hello guys and welcome to my very first video on YouTube. What? We're venturing out here, okay, like for real. Today I'm going to be showing you a speed build that I've done in The Sims 4 on the one and only Mary Grace restaurant. I know! <laughs> I think all of us have been going a little bit insane in this whole quarantine thing. So I've been like, you know what? I really miss Mary Grace. That's what I really miss. So I recreated it in The Sims. And um, I'm gonna jump into that very soon. But first, I wanted to show you a couple of reference images that I found on Google that, you know, helped me on this journey of self-discovery. So here I have my folder of wonders of Mary Grace pictures which I've um, borrowed off Zomato and Google Images. So I tried to get as many pictures as I could. Um, this is in the uh, Greenbelt 3, Greenbelt 3 branch, by the way. Um, this came to mind because it was like, I think it's the biggest Mary Grace that I know. It's got two stories. Um, it's pretty big. It's also got a, uh, a big outdoors area as well. So there's that. I don't know. I miss this place. I'm gonna lie. So it's very pretty. As you can see, Cafe Mary Grace has a pretty unique style of interior decoration. Um, going in here, it's all like fairy lights, interesting colors and everything. I tried to get as many pictures from um, the first story, the second story, and the outside area as well. The thing I love about Mary Grace is that it has just this extremely welcoming and homey feel inside the restaurant like it's filled with all of these it kind of feels like you're entering your grandma's house or something you know what i mean it's just it's filled of like all of these trinkets and plants and everything cute and lovely and in all of the tables they have these um letters of gratitude and thanks that are slipped into there and it's really cute just to read those when you're actually in the restaurant it's really wonderful it's such a wonderful place like if you haven't been there, go there. <laughs> um, the These re reference images actually also made me realize that there was this little kids hangout couch area here. Like I don't, I don't pay attention to that, but like I realized it after looking at all of these uh, reference images. Oh yeah, and the outdoor is just, it's so beautiful. Obviously I can't really recreate this like perfectly in The Sims, because if you don't know, this uh, Mary Grace branch is a part of this giant mall complex. So you know how it is in The Sims. It's like building and building and building. It's um, They're all kind of isolated. So I tried my best to recreate that vibe <laughs> in The Sims. Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys be the judge. Okay, let's get into the speed build. So I've got my hot beverage of choice which is a latte. I'm about to go through this speed build. Now, quick little disclaimer. I'm not a builder. <laughs> I don't play The Sims to build. I do play it to like mess around with the gameplay, like the actual gameplay. Like you go to work, you go cause havoc in the city, you sing karaoke, and uh, attend the Spice Festival and everything. But one thing that I haven't done um, till recently is actually build things in The Sims. So it is kind of a wonderful thing for me to um, go through this learning process. And you might actually see my struggle in the speed build in, uh, in the initial part, because I had no idea how to build a building <laughs> where we had two stories and the second story had a, an open area um, in the front, which is right there. Because um, um, in, the, in the Mary Grace restaurant, basically they have these gigantic light fixtures that are hanging from the wall that like go through this open area on the second story, so the second story isn't fully covered. Um, and I couldn't figure that out for a long time. I don't know how I figured it out, but I guess I did at some point. So, uh, you know, feel free to um, enjoy that how you will. Um, I don't usually play The Sims to, to build though. Like, I've been playing The Sims since 
The Sims 3. I don't know when that came out. I don't know, was I in high school? I guess so. But I've been playing The Sims 4, I think, about the time when it came out for the first time. Came out, came out of the closet, no. <laughs> when it was released for the first time. Um, so I've been, I've been playing mostly base game. Um, also, another disclaimer: I don't have all the packs. I'm not, I'm not loaded like that. Okay. Um, I do have some expansion packs. Like I think um, I've got University. I've got, I've got Get to Work. I've got, I have, I have Laundry Day. <laughs> Because I was really excited about laundry day for some reason. I don't know. It's kind of nice to have this little slice of life element to The Sims. Because you know, The Sims is trying to emulate real life after all. Um, also, I never realized that Mary Grace had these yellow walls. <laughs> um, I guess because you don't really pay attention to that when you're actually dining out at these restaurants, right? Um, but it has these red and yellow walls that kind of remind me of like a fast food place, which is a little bit strange, but I tried to cover that up later on with like decorations and mirrors and plants and everything. So it's not like it stands out like, oh, are we at a McDonald's now? Are we at a Burger King or a Jollibee? Like, no, that's not. It's covered up enough that you know that it's there, but it's not distracting you in any way, or it takes away from the beauty of Mary Grace. <laughs> and um, you can see that um, I'm putting a bunch of furniture down, and uh, largely this was just to figure out how big does this restaurant need to be. Because I don't know how other people um, do their builds, but I usually build build my builds based on the furniture that's in there. Like I don't I don't really care about what the outside looks like, but I do care about what the interior looks like. And you can probably tell when you see the finished product for this thing because the outside looks kind of bad. <laughs> but like I said, um Mary Grace's and this Mary Grace branch in particular was a, a part of a complex mall. So I was kind of just like uh whatever, I'm not gonna you know, develop the outside at all. It'll it'll be fine. Just slap on some wood on there, put some lights, put a roof on it, and it works. <laughs> Cause you know you're not here to see the um the outside or anything. You're here to see the interior decoration. That's what that's what um makes Mary Grace stand out. It's their cute little decorations. Their great food. Um, they're cafe style food, but also like you can go there for brunch or you can go there for like lunch or dinner. It's a it's an all day type of restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I mean, their food is good all around. So, Alright, so we had to take a slight detour because um, my laundry just finished washing so I had to chuck all of that in the dryer, you know what I'm saying, chores, yeah, uh, god, um, yeah, I finally got into um, decorating the second story, which is fun, um, definitely these are all just placeholder furniture, that's for freaking sure because none of that matches. It looks horrible at the moment, but we'll get we'll get over it. By the way, this speed build, like if I didn't if I didn't speed it up, it's this took like five hours. <laughs> this took five hours of my time. I was recording this on a Sunday night and I had I had some deadlines on Tuesday. But then I got this wonderful idea to recreate Mary Grace in the Sims. And so I think I've been re I, I was recording until like 1 a.m. on that Sunday night, so like, oh. <laughs> but um, you know what? It's fine. Sometimes you get these spurs of creativity, and you just you just have to go with it because you don't know, you don't know when you're gonna get them again. You know what I'm saying? So you know, 
<laughs> live your best life. You know, you can sleep at 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or whenever you want to sleep at. <laughs> don't don't follow my advice. <laughs> I'm just telling you the realities of everything. Because my life has been somewhat hectic these days. Um, you know, the whole quarantine and everything. Um, not like Not like my life has been drastically different. Like, I'm always indoors anyway. <laughs> It sounds like I'm like we can't go outside anymore. Like this is horrible. Um, no, this is fine. <laughs> this is honestly fine for me. Like nothing much has changed except for the fact that I limit my time outside to one day a week instead of maybe two days a week. <laughs> wow, I'm such a go-getter. <laughs> but um uh yeah, no, I quarantine has been okay. Um, apparently the curve has been flat flattening in Australia, which is good, you know, which is good news. Stay at home, go out, go, don't go outside unless you really, really need to. Like for example, my reason as to why I go outside is because I run out of milk for my lattes, which is very important to me. I could be drinking this um, as an Americano. Or a long black for you Aussies, but um, it's just not as a, an enjoyable experience as when it is as a latte. Okay, so here I try to make Mary Grace look like a little, a cute little house kind of two-story restaurant. This was built in Newcrest in a new save, so there's nothing around it. There's no neighborhood at all, so it's kind of funny. Um, it's kind of a funny thing. Um, I probably shouldn't have put a roof on this thing in the first place, but you know what? It's fine. You guys, you can download this on the gallery and like fiddle with it however you want to. Because um, I'm certainly not perfect. Like you can see <laughs> this stupid outside roof. <laughs> um, I had no idea how to fix it. It was like clipping through the second story. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not a builder. <laughs> so once again, if you want to fix my builds, Please go ahead, because I know that um, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but here I am trying to figure out the outside. Oh no, uh, now I'm going back into the second story. My building process is very just... I go with what my mind just suddenly brings me to. So sometimes I'm working on the outside, then sometimes I'm working on the second story or the kitchen. Like I'm so scatterbrained when I'm doing these, um, when I'm doing this, um, I do the same thing when I'm writing essays as well. Like I don't really, I don't really just follow like a sequential process, going from the introduction and then to the body paragraph and then to the conclusion. Like I kind of just go all over the place, cause like I get a sudden idea, and I'm like, oh, I gotta write that down, or I get a sudden idea for for The Sims, like, oh, I need to put like these plants here or whatever. I need to sh try out this new chandelier somewhere, and I just go with that. I just <laughs> I follow my heart. <laughs> What's your building style? Um, I just follow my heart. <laughs> so um, yeah. Um, one of my favorite parts about this build actually is the outside. Um, because as you might have seen from those reference pictures that I showed you guys a while ago, the outside is so cool. It's just it's covered in nature. <laughs> in greens, which is not something that you would usually see in the city. So it's wonderful. Um, so I'm not I'm not a builder, but I do know how to alt place. I do know how to size down things. I also know how to download custom content. <laughs> so um, there's that. There is custom content in this build, but as far as I know, nothing essential. It's all just clutter. Well, I guess clutter is kind of essential for the Mary Grace, for a Mary Grace build, I mean. But um, you know, you can you can deal with that. If I if I manage to um find that custom content again, I might link it down below in the description. Um, but it's all it's all Maxis Match. You can find it on Maxis Match at some point. Um, it's probably like some sort of kitchen pack or something. But it's just it's so good for clutter. It makes spaces in the sims look like they're actually filled up and furnished properly it's so good like god 
EA needs to take a hint from these custom content creators for real because they're so talented, they're so good. The first time that I discovered co custom content, by the way, oh my gosh, <laughs> I went ham. I think I was, that was another one of those like, oh, I'm staying up until 1 a.m. shopping for my Sims and um, <laughs> Um, usually it's the hair that's really exciting. I love to look at new Sims hairs just cause um, it's fun. It's fun to play dress up in the Sims cause like I would never dress up myself. <laughs> I'm just like a hoodie and sweater kind of gal. Like I don't, I don't care about uh, dressing up at all. But my Sims might and they do. So <laughs> I give them the chance to dress them up and it's really fun. Thank you, custom content creators, for your valuable contributions to the Sims community. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, custom content, by the way, custom content is really easy to download. Did you know? <laughs> you literally just drag files into a mods folder. It's wonderful. Um, so easy. I remember the days back, back in my day, when I had to like play Minecraft with mods and there was this whole system about like, oh, you have to drag it into this folder and you have to download this other thing. It's just, it's a lot. So, you know, we're trying to make the user experience really friendly. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, mods. Um, Gosh, the outside of this area is really, really cool. I love it. It's so cool. Oh yeah. And then I started putting on mason jars as lights. Um, as like, cause this is a pretty iconic part of the Mary Grace, of this Mary Grace in particular. They have all of these hanging lights um, that kind of go over this open area on the first story. And it's so cool. I didn't really know how to rec recreate that until I found these freaking mason jars. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this fits perfectly. And they come in um, or an orangey color and also a blue. So I'm like, yeah, this makes sense. It's perfect. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. It's like one of those things where you go to a restaurant um, just so you can take pictures. <laughs> of either the restaurant or the food. This is more of a restaurant where you take uh, pictures of the actual restaurant. Um, not to say that the food isn't picturesque at all. Um, it is, very much so. Um, but I don't know, I don't think that that's exactly the huge selling point of Mary Grace. Comfort food and also cute decor, for sure. Um, yeah. So I think, I gotta be honest with you guys, I think the part that um, took up the most time for this was just the sheer amount of clutter. There is so much clutter in this build. There's like books everywhere, there's random wall decorations, and you have to put these letters um, on each and every table because that's how they do it in the restaurant. Um, I wish there was a, way, a better way to do that because the letters in The Sims, they're all clumped up together or not clumped, they're all like grouped up together so there's like three or four um, envelopes in one item in The Sims and it's just, it's not exactly the same vibe as it would be in the, in the Mary Grace restaurant so I don't really know what to do about that. Maybe custom, maybe there's some custom content out there that has clutter that's specific to this but you know we gotta work with uh what we've got and we just have that <laughs> so deal with it <laughs> is what i'm saying um at this point i think things are coming along i kept yeah the clutter took so long for this build i mean it was really fun i really enjoyed making this build a lot um a lot of it is just because i really love this restaurant so much. I have a, I have a couple of um, memories in this restaurant. I think I had like my 16th birthday here or something and I just have a lot of memories of um, eating cakes from here because their cakes are so good. They're really sweet but like if it's your birthday like who cares. <laughs> um, I think, I think um, one of my favorites though 
My absolute favorite though from Mary Grace is their lemon squares or lemon bars. I don't I don't know what you call them, but um, they're just so good. They're so fluffy and delicious and wonderful and cute. And I'm so happy that The Sims 4 also serves lemon bars. So you can see them in the menu later. But like I said, this was a five hour recording. And um, even sped up, it was about about a 40 minute video. So I'm splitting it up, okay, 20 and 20, like, <laughs> 20, 20. But <laughs> yeah, it was ridiculously long. But um, but um, anyway, um, enough about Mary Grace. Now talk about talking about my life. <laughs> um, my life has been great. Uh, every day has just been. My brain has just been thinking about my thesis every single day. So I was just. I had to give myself time out of the week to not think about my thesis, because <laughs> it's just I wake up in the morning. And usually my routine is that I wake up usually about 8 or 9 a.m. Then I have this window of productivity, I'll say. I'll, I'll label it that. My window of productivity usually is best in the morning for a good two or three hours. And so I try to take advantage of that um, by waking up at an alarm. And I try to just like get as much work out as possible in the morning. So it's kind of um, kind of weird. I just wake up and my immediate instinct is to first make coffee and then to work on my thesis. Like whether I'm reading something or if I'm writing something out. Like gosh, there's so much writing to do. But that is to be expected, isn't it? Um, but I have this window of productivity, so even though it is like a Saturday or a Sunday, it's kind of hard to break myself off from this habit of um, immediately getting to work when I wake up in the morning. Um, so I was like, okay, I have to dedicate a day <laughs> to not do that. Because, gosh, life gets to you sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, non-stop thinking about the stupid, not stupid, I mean I signed up for this didn't I? I signed up to make a thesis, so... <laughs> so my build is coming along pretty well. Um, a lot of the essentials are pretty much down. Um, there's still a lot of clutter to go through, um, as you might expect. A lot of plants. A lot of decorations, a lot of f figuring out how to actually build in The Sims. <laughs> um, I think I think I struggled a lot with the outside as well, just because I couldn't figure out how to fix the freaking roof. <laughs> it's so stupid. Like I, The Sims build tools are fantastic, okay? But sometimes there are some things that just... Ugh, like EA, you could have done this, or you could have made it a little bit logical, or something. Like, for example, fixing lights in The Sims. You need to actually bring someone in to the lot to actually change the color of the light and also the intensity of the light. Now, usually it's not a problem because you would just be okay with the color of white light or something. But for this one, I think I wanted it to be a little bit warmer to um, give it that more homey feel. But like you have to, you have to get out of build mode, bring a character <laughs> into the lot, and then only then can you go back into build mode. Sorry, not go back into build mode. We're not going back into build mode. Only then can you, as you're playing in live mode change the intensity of the lights as well as its color. It's kind of stupid, like I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just, just spitting some facts over here, okay? Like EA, uh, <laughs> as if I know anything about building. I've only been building since, I think, December of last year. Actually, this is a funny story. So <laughs> I started getting back into The Sims uh, around my birthday. 
So my birthday is in December. And on my last birthday, I got sick. <laughs> I got really horribly sick. I got a fever. I don't remember how I got it. Probably something weird with like um, going in and out of hot and cold temperatures. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a doctor, okay? But I got a fever. It was really bad. I was stuck in bed. You know, your body can't properly regulate your temperature. You're chilling and you're freezing, but you're also melting at the same time. And um, I was just stuck in bed and I was just watching Sims videos. <laughs> I was watching speed builds and I was also watching a bunch of coffee videos So there's those two coffee and sims coffee coffee and sims. Oh I almost spilled that there. What a tragedy <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not I'm not prepared to replace my laptop or anything <laughs> But um, Yeah, so I started getting back into the sims um because of my stupid fever but i guess it's a good thing like i think at that time university was released ish like i'm not i'm not up to date with all the packs and everything um i'm really not like i'm just like oh well that looks cool and it's on sale i will get university um but i think it was that it was with university and also the fact that i was horribly sick and in bed all the time that I started to get back into The Sims again because, I mean, this stuff is entertaining and fun <laughs> so, uh, you know here I am back playing The Sims I kind of have an on and off relationship with The Sims I usually stop playing it once, um, once uh, uni comes back around because, like, I ain't got time <laughs> but um, now that everybody's in quarantine and I kind of have time again to not only play The Sims, but also to apparently record a video of myself playing The Sims. So there's that. Um, uh, I also started to watch a bunch of people um, playing The Sims, which is really fun. I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned a lot from like watching people do speed builds on in The Sims and um, realizing that there was this whole area of the sims that i had never even touched before like it was a totally new avenue for me um because like i said i usually just do gameplay like i'll play i'll play in the city or i'll i'll mess around with cats and dogs i'll be teaching my dog tricks and everything or oh my my my, my play style for the sims is usually just going to the top rank of whatever career I've chosen for that gameplay. So this was a nice change for me. And um, I'm going to end that here because it's been it's been 20 minutes of talking. So I'll see you guys in the next part where I'll be finishing all the clutter, finishing the outside and everything and showing you screenshots of the final product. So, okay guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.